Here you can see Blender 2 subdivision stack workflow in combination with Solidify modifier for hard surface modeling. This workflow is especially useful for plates, shells and other hard surface related stuff. It does not require any supporting loops and keeps the low poly mesh underneath simple and extremely fast editable. I use this for the most parts of this robot design. Of course this workflow has some limitations. For example it's not useful for the parts that require big smooth transitions like for example for the front screen of this robot. For such parts one recommend to use classic support loop subdivision modeling or bevel plus subdiv workflow. I will show bevel plus subdiv workflow in my next video. Support loops and creasing subdivision workflows gives a better control over the smoothing, but are more time intensive to model and are less agile if making changes and playing with forms. That's why two subdivision stack workflow is useful and has its place. It's faster and easier to edit. Personally I use two subdivision stack workflow for all the parts at blockout stage since it gives a better representation of a low poly and it's fast to edit and make changes. Later on the parts where I want to have smooth transitions I just delete this two subdiv modifiers and start to work with classic supporting loops workflow or with bevel plus subdiv workflow. So why not just using classic support loop subdivision workflow if it seems to give you more control right away from the beginning? The answer is, because it make the low poly more complex and harder to control. Especially if you catch yourself you want make a bigger change on design you have to edit and deal with this supporting loops. Two subdivision stack workflow gives a good result right away without this problems. Two subdivision stack workflow works simple. First modifier subdivides the mesh one or multiple times without changing its form, the second modifier is applied on the top of subdivided mesh for smoothing out the edges with Catmull-Clark algorithm.